Author's note, all videos taken from Justice League Gods and Monsters. Justice League Gods and Monsters was directed by Sam Liu, produced by Sam Richardson and Bruce Tim, voice directed by Andrea Romano, and distributed by Warner Brothers and DC Comics. This video is my own opinion of Justice League Gods and Monsters, coming to DVD and Blu-ray on July 28, 2015. Granted, the victims were part of a terrorist organization. Wondered when you'd mention that. Hey folks, I'm still recovering from my time at Comic-Con with Milo pointing on a few months hiatus till Equestria Girls Friendship Games. I might as well review Justice League Gods and Monsters. Oh, uh, just to let you know, some of the videos I acquired has the WB watermark, so uh, this is just a heads up, okay? Just because this is a darker and more different take on the Justice League doesn't mean it's completely different. Actually, I was surprised by the deaths that each member of the Justice League had, even in comparison with their original DC Animated Universe counterparts. Another thing that's a great plus is the return of Bruce Timm's signature art, which was a DC staple since Batman the Animated Series, all the way up to the Justice League series. It's also very ultra-violent, so it's not for little kids. Now why can't we have animated features like this in movie theaters? It's sure more interesting than the upcoming Batman vs Superman movie, or even the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. I mean, Jared Leto as a Joker looks like a crazy Justin Bieber. While Gods and Monsters bring a whole new Justice League to the table, it also maintains what makes the Justice League great in the first place. I recommend watching this movie. One last thing, if you're itching to see this, you can find this out on iTunes and Google Play right away. I'll say this, all the other reviews have taken the words out of my mouth, but this is still a must watch for any DC comic fan out there. Uh, will you excuse me a bit? I have a feeling I'm being watched.